Have you ever watched the 1956 movie World Without End? If so, when was the first time you saw it? And did you have a favorite character or role? For those who haven't had the pleasure yet, this classic sci-fi film takes us on a journey to a post-apocalyptic future, where a group of astronauts crash lands on a desolate Earth. As they struggle to survive in this unfamiliar world, they encounter strange creatures and face numerous challenges. Now, we're curious to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. What made it special for you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's dive into some random facts about the film, shall we? World Without End was directed by Edward Burns and is notable for its portrayal of a bleak future complete with mutated creatures and a society on the brink. It's a fascinating glimpse into the anxieties of the Cold War era and how they were reflected in cinema. So, whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering this cinematic gem, share your thoughts and memories with us. We're all ears. And stay tuned for more movie discussions and insights right here. World Without End is a 1956 science fiction film directed by Edward Burns. Set in a post-apocalyptic world in the 22nd century, the story follows a group of astronauts who, after a space mission, crash land on Earth and discover a dystopian future where mutant humans and primitive tribes roam the desolate landscape. As they struggle to survive and find a way back to their time, the film explores themes of survival, civilization, and the consequences of nuclear war. The film features iconic characters like Hugh Beaumont as the resourceful leader and the unique style of blending Cold War era fears with imaginative science fiction elements. World Without End had a notable impact on popular culture by contributing to the post-apocalyptic sci-fi genre, influencing later works such as Planet of the Apes. It remains a classic example of 1950s science fiction cinema, known for its compelling storytelling, an eerie vision of a world in ruins, still resonating with audiences today. Plot Summary Writer, director Edward Burns claims he invented the word mutate in this picture, although he admits that mutant has become much more popular. In the 1956 science fiction film World Without End, set in a post-apocalyptic 22nd century, a group of astronauts crash lands on Earth and encounters a dystopian world of mutants and primitive tribes. While the movie explores survival and civilization in a nuclear war-ravaged future, it's interesting to note that Edward Burns, the director, takes credit for coining the word mutate in the film. However, it's the term mutant that has stood the test of time. This fact sheds light on a lesser-known aspect of the film's creation and language innovation. World Without End remains a classic in 1950s science fiction cinema, known for its compelling storytelling, an eerie vision of a post-apocalyptic world, still resonating with audiences today. In the 1956 movie World Without End, survivors of nuclear war who chose to stay on the surface became savage beings. This theme of post-apocalyptic savagery foreshadowed the concept of the Morlocks in The Time Machine, a film made four years later. Interestingly, Rod Taylor, the actor who played a key role in World Without End, also appeared in The Time Machine. This connection between the two films highlights the recurring theme of a dystopian future in 1950s science fiction cinema. In the 1956 movie World Without End, a chilling revelation points to a bleak future. Jaff, a character in the film, observes a nursery with only 14 babies and a population of 2,000 survivors living in a tunnel. This starkly low birth rate raises concerns that this might be the last generation to endure in the post-apocalyptic world. The dwindling numbers and the uncertain fate of humanity form a central theme in the movie, adding depth to its narrative. World Without End prompts us to contemplate the consequences of a devastated world and the struggle for survival in the face of a diminishing population. Interestingly, the film shares a technological connection with Destination Moon as it features swinging individual control panels on the spaceship. These panels were previously used in the earlier science fiction film, showcasing the continuity and innovation in sci-fi cinema during that era. This movie also presents an intriguing detail about its doors. While most doors in the film open and close automatically, there is one exception. The only door that requires manual unlocking and bolting leads to the outside, where romantic tensions unfold between Borden and Garnet. This unique door setup adds a layer of suspense and human interaction within the post-apocalyptic setting. 
These lesser known facts about World Without End provide a deeper understanding of the film's narrative and its place in the 1950s science fiction genre. The movie's themes of survival, population decline, and technological elements contribute to its enduring appeal in the world of classic science fiction cinema. In the 1956 movie World Without End, the outdoor scenes were filmed in the famous Garden of the Gods formations at the Iverson Movie Ranch. These iconic formations have been featured in numerous films, from biblical epics to westerns and war movies. However, they are now facing the encroachment of land development and may not endure much longer. This location added a unique backdrop to the film's post-apocalyptic setting, showcasing the enduring appeal of classic science fiction cinema. Writer, director Edward Burns had a different vision for the 1956 movie World Without End. When it came to casting the lead role, he initially sought Sterling Hayden and then Frank Lovejoy. However, cost-conscious producer Richard V. Heermans had different ideas. He wanted to make a science fiction film to take advantage of stock footage from Monogram's flight to Mars to save money. Burns disagreed with these budget-saving practices and was especially critical of the economically filmed final scene. Despite these disagreements, the movie went on with Hugh Marlowe in the lead role, who accepted a lower salary than other actors. According to Burns, Marlowe's work ethic was less than stellar, often being lazy and unprepared. These behind-the-scenes decisions and conflicts shed light on the making of World Without End, providing a glimpse into the challenges faced during its production. In the 1956 movie World Without End, the year is 2508 AD. According to ancient calculations made by Timic, one of the survivors in a post-apocalyptic world, this sets the stage for a tale of astronauts stranded on Earth, grappling with mutants and primitive tribes in a bleak future. Interestingly, just four years later, one of the film's stars, Rod Taylor, would take another journey through time in the movie The Time Machine, based on H.G. Wells' novel. Despite the two films having no common storyline, the H.G. Wells estate sued World Without End producers for alleged plagiarism, drawing ironic connections to the time machine, where Rod Taylor also played a key role. These intriguing facts shed light on the connections and legal disputes surrounding the 1956 film World Without End. As we reach the final credits of our cinematic journey through the 1956 movie World Without End, I invite you to pause and reflect on the profound impact this timeless classic has had on your own cinematic sensibilities. The film, with its captivating blend of post-apocalyptic adventure, futuristic technology, and the indomitable human spirit, has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of its viewers. Did you find yourself mesmerized by the hauntingly beautiful landscapes of a world reborn? Or perhaps you connected with the characters who bravely faced the unknown? Maybe the film's vision of a future where humanity's greatest qualities and flaws are put to the test resonated with you in a deeply personal way. Whatever your experience, World Without End has a unique ability to provoke thought and stir emotions, sparking conversations and contemplation long after the screen goes dark. We encourage you to share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments from this cinematic gem. Tell us how World Without End has impacted your life or how its themes have touched your heart. Engage with fellow enthusiasts and join the conversation about this enduring piece of cinematic history. Thank you for investing your time and interest in this exploration of World Without End. Your participation enriches our shared love for cinema and ensures that this classic continues to be celebrated and cherished. Remember, great films like these only grow stronger when we come together to discuss and share our experiences. Until next time, keep the magic of World Without End alive in your hearts.